This is Jeff Majewski, the IBM Corporation, and in this demo we're going to be looking at installing IBM HTTP Server version 8 on ZOS using the IBM Installation Manager as part of the WASV8 beta and an, and an IAM repository installed with SMPE. The first step is to take the SMPE Deliverables XMIT file, which we downloaded from the beta website, and uploaded to ZOS and use the receive command to unpack the card image format to create a DFDSS dump file. And then once we have the DFDSS dump file, we can use the restore job found in the Getting Started Guide to restore the individual SMPE rel files out of it. And there at the top are the rel files for IBM HTTP server. In the F1 data set are the sample jobs which we copy into our work data set. And obviously I've already copied them and done some customization. So we'll go over to look at them. We've already created SMPE global target and ZLib zones as part of our WASV8 install. So right now we'll just receive the rel files for the IBM HTTP server. The rest of the install of the repository is pretty much exactly like it is for WASV8 base. We allocate the DLIB and target data sets and the file system for the repository. We create the DD definitions, including one that will point to the repository for IHS. And we comment out the SMPJ home definition since that was already specified as part of the WASV8 install. Finally, we run this job to mount the HFS at the service mount points of Service User LPP Installation Manager Repository, followed by the FMID. And now we're ready to do the apply. First, we submit the check, which runs very quickly. And then the actual apply, which runs for a little longer. And then we run the accept. First with the check and then for real. Now that the SMP work is done, we see that we have the DLive data sets and, and target data sets for the repository. We unmount it from the service mount point, and now we remount the repository at its real mount point. User LPP Installation Manager Repository followed by the FMID and it can be re it can be read only at this point on. So now we still need to actually install IHS so we go to the Installation Manager Sample Jobs and copy out the two we'll need, the one to create the HFS and the one to install the product. Into our work data set. rename them to reflect their exact use in this case for IHS. We edit the first job, which will create the file system that IHS will live in. Specify the target data set name for the HFS. The 
location for the installation manager install kit since that contains some scripts we use here. We give the mount point for the IHS file system. In this case I'm not using a service one, I'm just mounting it at its final location. And also specify the, name, the user ID and group that IAM will run under so it has access. Of course if we were using a ZFS we could have run the Gen 3 Z, C ZFS job instead. And now we're ready to go ahead and do the install. Since we created this installation manager to run under a particular user ID, I am admin, we have to go ahead and make sure that this job will run under that. We also specify the package ID for IHS, which you would get out of the info center or the program directory. A package group name, which can be anything as long as it's different from the package groups already installed, and the target location where we already mounted a file system. The shared resources directory is the one that we created and specified back when we set up the install installation manager. And the repository URL is just the path to where we mounted the repository for IHS that we installed with SMP earlier. Again, always make sure that the correct user ID is specified whenever you, you invoke the installation manager so you don't get into trouble. So we're ready to submit this job. Then it runs for about a minute. Small, shorter than the one for Waz V8 since it's a much smaller product. Since we're done updating it, we can go ahead and make it read-only at this point. And let's take a look at what we installed. Everything is there, ready to configure, and IHS V8 is available.